Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I am going to take a training on behavior driven development. So the behavior driven development is nothing but an agile software development methodology that focuses on system behavior based on the end user perspective. So that's the basic definition and it enables more collaboration which means a business analyst, a developer and QA get together and discusses about a behavior which will help the end user very in, in, during the initial stages of the project. So the third thing is concrete examples. So when the team discusses about a behavior, they come up with concrete examples like you now they take the requirement, they break the requirement into a rule and from the rule they come up with the concrete examples and that examples are you now documented in the Gherkin format which is given when then. So that's the overall you know, overview about the BDD concept. It talks about end, it talks about a system from end user perspective and it enables a collaboration between BA, Dev and QA. At the same time it gives the system behavior in the example format which is very easy for us to test it. Now there are some terminologies that we have to understand when it comes to BDD. Okay, before going to the terminologies, you need to understand what is the difference between BDD and test driven development. To those who have already worked on test driven development, we all know that the goal of test driven development is a developer has to come up with a test case. Once you have the test case, you do the code changes that satisfy the test case and then if there is any failure during the testing, we do the refactoring that means the delta code change and then test it again and this is the test driven development. BDD was originally developed from test driven development. The only change here is the BDD includes the behavior part of it like what is the end user's behavior that is specific to the system. Once we know the behavior, the step two in BDD is coming up with the automated test cases. Once we know the automated test cases, developer is going to do the code changes specific to the automated test cases and then if there is any failure during the testing they are going to do the factoring where they are going to fix those issues and then retest it. Here the advantage is we have the behavior of the system which will help us to come up with automated test cases. That is the reason why most of us are using BDD. Now let's see what are the few of the terminologies that we use in the BDD concept. As the name says behavior. So the behavior is nothing but we try to identify all the end user behavior that is going to add value to the business. So that once we know the behavior, we make sure that we co convert those behavior into the examples and then come up with the acceptance criteria that can be tested manually or in case of automation with the respect to automation. Shift left. The shift left is a concept where we are making sure that the testing is done upfront, not like wait until the end of the development process. We make sure we type the test cases and then based on the test cases we do the code changes. That way we do not know have any ambiguity. Example mapping. So in BDD what we do, we identify the user story. From the user story we kind of know, identify the rule. From the rule we identify the examples. It's like a story mapping but here no it's an example mapping where we know the requirement from the requirement identifying the rule as well as from the rule we identify the concrete examples that are further defined as Gherkin formats. Rule this is the point I was trying to say. Once you know what is the kind of no requirement you define the rule that constrains the requirement. So from the rule you come up with the examples that's what we are trying to say concrete examples. So when I say examples the way we write examples are using Gherkin format. Most of you I think are aware about Gherkin format. Given, when, then. Given is a precondition. When is something that happens and when that scenario happens what we are going to do. That's what is part of then. Cucumber. So as I told you this Gherkin format is a format which can be understood by the common man versus the system. So once you have your automated test cases in Gherkin format that should be inputted to the Cucumber for automated test cases. Gherkin format just now we talked about it's a given when then condition which will be used to come up with the concrete examples provided the requirements are given by the business. Three amigos. This is also a very important thing that we have to do. Once the 
requirements are elaborated uh, business analyst uh, developer <coughs> in the QA they get together where the business analyst says what is the uh, end value that I need from the system developer says how am I going to build the system and the tester says what kind of defects we can find how are we going to test it so as a collaborative effort all three of them discusses the particular you know, requirement and then come up with the system behavior and with, by using the concrete examples that's the three amigo and the way we do three amigos are called as story huddles where three of them BA developers and QA come together and where they take the concrete examples and then come up with a solution test automation as I told you the biggest benefit of BDD is you have test cases that are automated using the Gherkin format so that when the development is ran, done you use those automated test cases to make sure that the system is working as per the requirement I hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day thank you